Huh? What is it now? Wasn't the game supposed to have started already? Yeah, well, yes. But the junk press broke down, and we thought we'd use the time for a little tutorial. Who thought that? I don't need no stinking tutorials. So how are you going to fix the junk press? Just watch me and learn. Maybe you want to listen to what I have to say first? But you don't have anything to say. Oh, come on. It won't be long. Just point the cursor at me and left-click. We'll see about that. Computer, talk to Wenzel. You don't have to say that explicitly. Um, who's talking to you? Why, you are. You clicked on me. Smarty pants. Just tell me what's wrong with the junk press. And stop wiggling your feet. It's pressing only very gently now and doesn't really squish sufficiently. Hey, every idiot can see that. Well, why don't you present the tutorial then? Okay, piece of cake. But first, I'll explain, um... How to look at an object. I know that! I see. And how? I point my cursor at it and right-click when I see the eye icon. Well, the theory is easy, but how about the actual practice? Hey, this is your tutorial. You're a cop-out, but be that as it may, I'll demonstrate. Uh, do you see that little uh, thingy on the floor over there? I will now use the, um, tongue icon. The eye icon. Yeah, I will now click on it, thusly having a look at it. So you better watch closely. What's that? It's a cathode plunger. Thanks for the input, Wenzel, but I recognize a hydro clamp duplexer when I see one. Too bad I can only look at it. A duplexer like that could be useful. You can pick it up. You just have to point your cursor at it so the hand icon appears. If you left-click now, you'll pick it up. There has to be an easier way. If you say so. Okay, I've picked up the duplexer, but what am I supposed to do with it now? You put it into your inventory. That's where all the items go. You've picked up that object. Now you can open your inventory by using your mouse wheel. Hey, there it is! Correct! This is your inventory. Yeah, I knew that. It's where you can see what you're carrying around. You still know how to do that, don't you? Look, Wenzel, I'm almost done. Impressive. And I mean that. Huh, it fits. Now you have to... Hey, you don't have to spoon feed me. I'll manage the rest. If you say so. Uh... Rufus, there's one more thing. I told you I'd manage without your help. Now, all I have to do is press this button here, and right away... Oh, how I love tutorials! It's kind of pathetic, you get all erratic About dirty dishes congesting the sink I'm tired of your bothers, remember our fathers They dwelled in a world filled with rubbish and stink But when all hope was lost, someone raised from the dust He was handsome and cunning, his haircut had style Courage was shining in his eyes As he said, screw you guys, mind your own business I'm off now, goodbye Huzzah, he's off now, goodbye Junk. Junk. And more junk. A life of order and happiness. Oh, my bad. That was junk, too. <sighs> well, that does it. I need to leave this dump. Fortunately, this time my plan is foolproof. This time everything will work out. Where did I put my list? Heck, I really have to get away from this junkyard. Blech. Nah, like always, there's only junk on TV. What's this? A sock? That explains why I've had such cheesy dreams. Ah, there's my list. Let's...
Let's see. Seems like I've packed almost everything I need. All I need now are some provisions. The toothbrush, a pair of socks, and a bolt cutter. A bolt cutter? What the... Well, guess I must have had a reason to put it on the list. Huh. My old escape plans. Some of them weren't half bad. This could be useful. The oil is rancid. But I could use it for hair wax. The best thing about it is the can. Oh, my father left me. Besides alone was this stupid wooden trunk. Then he left the ponia without me. Another note from Tony. And what's she complaining about now? Will you please clean the bathroom for once? Yeah, right. In her dreams. This could be useful. Huh, it's seen better days for sure. Whoa! What the? The toothbrush bailed out on me. Guess I should have kept it in a more germ-free environment. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Oh crap. I need a better plan to catch it. Hmm. Locked. Tony must have the key. Ah! Whoa, what's that? A guillotine so I won't enter her room? Whoa, that girl has issues. I honestly wonder why we were ever together at all. Stay out of my room. You have no business in there anymore. Who does Tony think she is? I've got better things to do than rummage through her drawers. Ouch! Do the dishes already. They won't do themselves. Oh, yeah? Well, I'll take that chance. <laughs> Let's get rid of this thing. You've scoffed all the food yet again. And I keep finding your crap in the fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Huh? I don't understand the question. I'll have a quick look. See if I can find something useful in the pockets. Hey, there really was something in there. A sock. Cool. You're not supposed to eat on the sofa. I keep finding leftovers in it. Huh? Well, isn't that a good thing? Eh, seems there are still some wasabi peas in there. I guess these will make good provisions for the journey. In you go! <laughs> I may not be an expert, but I'm sure I need a hot wash. This didn't do much. Huh. Whoa, look at that. The sock changed color. Who would have thought it? But where's the other one? Clear case of 
subtractive color mixing. <laughs> now the little bugger's in for a surprise. Come on, brushy, brushy, brushy. Come to Papa. Ha! Gotcha! Ha! Gotcha! I'll make you suffer the next time I brush my teeth. Bolt cutter, for whatever reason. Check. Provisions. Check. Toothbrush. Check. Socks. Check. Ha! <laughs> Seems like I've packed everything. Oh, I can't close it anymore. Seems like I've got to unpack something, but what? I'll never be able to close the suitcase with a monster like that in there. I mean, I won't need a bolt cutter where I'm going. I wonder why it was on the list in the first place. <laughs> now it fits. Packed and ready to go. <laughs> I think I just strained something. <laughs> hey, Rufus, you should save your energy for the unavoidable drop into the abyss. Yeah, thanks, Wenzel. You can save your sarcasm for someone less well-prepared than me. This time, I took everything into account. It'll be a stroll in the park. Ah, that's what you said last time. It took us days to remove the cactus spikes from your butt, remember? That's all toxic runoff under the bridge. This time, everything will work out. And when finally an Elysian Orbit Pixie massages my back, I'll ask her to pause for a minute so I can laugh about you. Whatever. But say, can I have your stuff when you're gone? Yeah, sure, help yourself. As if anything on this dump is valuable. It's time for me to leave all this behind. Great. I hope you remembered to calibrate the harpoon. I'll do that later, after I've stored everything in the pod. Well, then hurry up. Well, you know that the Organon are always on time. There. Now where shall I put it? The storage space is closed. There. And now? There we go. <laughs> New problem. Oh, crap. It's screwed tight. Hmm. I might be able to do without this. But how's it going to be attached? And more importantly, where shall I sit? Trusty Wenzel. I wonder how he's going to cope without me. I should send him a postcard. Hey, Wenzel. Still stuck in no man's land? <laughs> it's your own fault, dunce. Yeah, something along those lines. Ouch! Hot! He's blocking the way to the village center. Oh, it doesn't matter though. I'm going the other direction anyway. Hello, Hannock. Hey, um, uh, well... Uh, Rufus. Ah! <laughs> I'm really terrible with names. Is the tunnel closed again? Yes, we had another collapse in Sector 7. Another junk slide? All this trash is really driving me nuts. I'm glad I'll be going for good soon. Are you? You bet. Well, I only know you won't be leaving through this tunnel. Did you see Tony anywhere? Tony? Big, angry, breathes fire. My former girlfriend. Ah! Tony! Well... I guess she's down in her store, working. 
like everybody else, except you. I'll finally leave this junk heap of a planet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another one of your brilliant plans? This time, it's absolutely foolproof. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You being a fool and all. But I reckon you running around here has got nothing to do with any other problems. No, it hasn't. <laughs> well, good for you. Okay, the plan itself is foolproof, but... Here we go. I just need to prepare the capsule for the launch, adjust the harpoon, light the fuse, and then it's showtime! Uh-huh. Then what? Then the rockets will shoot a powerful electromagnet toward a passing Organon cruiser. The escape pod is connected to that very powerful electromagnet via a long chain. Once the magnet is attached to the Organon cruiser, I can reel in the chain with a pedal-operated winch system and pull myself and the pod up. I see. And then? Then, the cruiser will bring me directly to Elysium. Well, I really don't see how this plan of yours could go wrong. I removed the seat, but where do I put the battery now? And where do I sit? Well, seems like you need a kind of seat with a battery compartment. A seat with a battery compartment? I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have. I had one just like that. It was pretty comfortable until I accidentally found the switch. Don't worry, I'll make it. Sure. I'll write you a postcard from Elysium. You go ahead and do that. There you go. Ha! There you go. There. The capsule is ready. Now, all I have to do is calibrate the harpoon. This will be the most spectacular departure ever. There. Too bad the two directions of the control stick are blocked, but who needs those anyway? The main thing is that the crosshairs are right on the tracks. And then, I'm gone. Ha! <laughs> this will be a walk in the park. the fuse and boom well that should be it stand by Wenzel hello Rufus Tony why are you sneaking around like that this is still my house remember well it's not as obvious now since someone stole my mailbox oh that reminds me I'm supposed to give you this letter a letter Rufus, it's almost time. Yes, I know. Sorry, Tony, but it's over. Once the fuse is lit, I'll be gone for good. If only that was true. I bet now you're sorry about some of the things you said. That's right. Starting with, you can stay with me. This is the final goodbye. It's too early to jump for joy, I fear. There's nothing you could say to prevent me from going. What a stroke of luck. That means I can't say anything wrong. No, it's too late. You can beg all you want, but I won't take you along with me. Can I have that in writing? Why are you here? Are you still hoping for a miracle? It would be a miracle if you finally disappeared for real. But in case it doesn't work out again, I'll at least have the satisfaction of seeing you injure yourself. 
I'm leaving. For good. I gave up hope of that a long time ago. Now is where it counts. Ah, well, maybe I should read the letter. Dear Mr. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are happy to inform you, blah, blah, blah. Get to the point, will ya? Unfortunately, the delivery of your screws will be delayed for... Please find enclosed a voucher for a pack of rivets. We apologize for any inconvenience this might have caused. Sincerely yours. Just a second. Screws? Whew, what a maneuver. Hey, my suitcase is here too. It must have got entangled in the chain. <laughs> Just like I planned. Suffering from vertigo, Ms. Gold? You should have stayed in your cabin. It was foolish of you to go against my orders. What? What's going on here, Bailiff? Did you know about all this? Just a minute. All of you knew about this, right? The whole Organon is involved in this? Did you really think you could just keep it a secret? Wait until Cletus hears about this. But you won't be telling him anything about it. You will be a good girl and wait here until the Prime Controller arrives. And then? What then? I am an Elysium, not one of his office clerks. How does he plan to assure my silence? Just you wait, Ms. Gold. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Holy smoke! A real Orbit Pixie! I bet you'll be pretty thankful once I've rescued her from the clutches of the Dark Exchequer. Let's go! Rufus to the rescue! I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. <laughs> Take that! No, don't! Ah! What's that? Ah! Oops, guess that was the wrong lever. You damned fool! How dare you mess with the plans of the Organon! Men, throw him overboard! You need to catch me first, but I'm much too fast for you, see? First I'm here, and now I'm gone. Here, gone. Uh... Uh-uh. I was so close, but no, the minute I see a beautiful damsel in distress, wham! Well, I guess that's just who I am. I'm simply a die-hard do-gooder. Ah, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, how boring is that? The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh, that could spell anything. 
What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since... Since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <clears throat> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the Dark Exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. I hate lines. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. Every office needs a good soul. Maybe someone should tell the mayor. Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah, Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone... <coughs> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... Your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <coughs> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you! The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter. Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? The girl belongs to me! That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy! Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And... Oh. I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. No, really, let me go first. Listen, Rufus, a minute ago that was a nice little joke, but now it's half annoying. And half sad. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I.
It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife made them for me. Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> the coffee that could be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Will she fully recover? She'd need to wake up first to be able to tell. Well, why don't you wake her up then? Well, it's not that easy. I've already tried every stimulant I could find in my medicine cabinet. None of those were strong enough. She needs something much, much stronger. Something much, much stronger. Hmm. Sounds like a job for me. I am much, much stronger after all. I will save her. Ha! Good luck. Did you bring some kind of miracle stimulant by any chance? Something that might wake her up? A kind of cup of coffee to the nth order? I'm working on it. Good. But do it someplace else. What are you waiting for? Help her! I would love to, but self-professed acquaintances of the patient are constantly interrupting me in my efforts. <laughs> self-professed acquaintances. That sounds funny. <laughs> Self-professed acquaintances. <laughs> Think you can say that a thousand times in a row? <laughs> Why should I? I could even say get lost a thousand times in a row and you wouldn't get it. I want to report an emergency. An emergency? What is it? I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home. So get lost. I have this unusual pain in my back. You should rest in bed at home, so get lost! Fire! Impossible! My fire protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in fire protection sensors? Yes, ever since you turned eight years old, you little brat. That was my last birthday with my dad. I got a cake. I think I even remember the fireworks. I remember them too. Incredible how much you achieved with just eight candles. Robbery! Impossible! My theft protection sensors would already have detected the emergency. You have built-in theft protection sensors? All emergency prevention tasks are united in one person, and that's me, as you very well know. A small village like Kuvac is just not big enough to have a doctor's practice, a fire department, and a police station separately. Or at least, that's what I thought. Ever since you turned eight, I'm not so sure about that anymore. 
No emergency. My bad. If you say so, it sounds too good to be true. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. Do you have a stimulant for me? To make you even more annoying? I don't think so. I've used up most of the stimulants on the patient, but to no avail. I still have some left in the medicine cabinet in my office, but no one except me is allowed to access it. We'll see about that. What was that? Uh, time for me to leave. That's what I keep telling you. Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. Huh, this is a map of the trash tunnels. I'd better ask Hannock how this all works. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day. Getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then, he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Uh, Wenzel. Let me think. Wenzel. 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 Nope. I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. Ah, uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. The blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast! Nice parrot. Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Hello? 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 Ah, oh, I'm starving! I've eaten nothing but worms for days now! Ignore him. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore! Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. Ah, Rufus. I thought you were on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... 
Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. Great. Thanks. I guess. Lonzo? Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course! I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a fraud. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. Tony really gets on my nerves. Well, that's your version. Wait, did she come here too? Someone had to pay for the table you broke yesterday. Yeah, that was an awesome performance, wasn't it? Look at me! I'm Tony! Scold, scold, scold! Wine! Fret, fight, scream! <laughs> yeah, I know. Perfect impression. <laughs> You won't believe what happened to me today. Yeah, you're probably right about that. So why don't you keep your story to yourself this time? But it's got everything. Action, drama, romance. Oh, a dragon too. Uh, no. In that case, I'm not interested. Now that you mention it, yes, there really was a dragon. Too late. Damn. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have a pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor, following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho 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 ho! I'm so excited! <laughs> what a scroll. Okay, I need clear reviving and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. And, hmm, none of these things can be found in Kuva. I never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? It's all written down on the recipe I gave you. Just bring me everything that's on the list. Till then, I'll do some fine tuning on the espresso machine. Okay. About the powder. Tell me. Do you have any idea what kind of blackish powder is needed for this recipe? I have no idea. I don't think they're talking about black powder. Black powder. Hmm. I said it's probably not 
black powder. But black powder is blackish. Listen, this machine works with high pressure and extreme heat. If you put black powder into the... Yada, yada, yada. Let me worry about the ingredients and you'll prepare the machine. Oh, no. I am starting to regret this. Any idea what highly stimulating means? I have no idea. Maybe some kind of stimulant? Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some in his office. Oh, that reminds me. Maybe Dr. Gizmo has some kind of stimulant in his office. That's just what I said. You did? Maybe I'd listen more carefully if you said something useful from time to time. Oh, I guess I had that coming. Any idea what hot beans are supposed to be? No idea. Well, this seems to be a highly intellectual puzzle for a gifted mind. Right. Maybe you should ask Wenzel. I was talking about me. Sorry. I guess I should have known. Statistically, it was very likely that you were talking about yourself. Don't worry. I'll manage. Hurry up. I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. Uh, about the water. Keep it flowing. Clean water? Where can I get clean water? Clean water is a meal. Everybody knows that. My father always told me that story about how he founded Kuvac on top of a source of fresh, clean spring water. Hogwash! Your father was a bullshitter, just like you. Bullshitter? What's that supposed to mean? Someday, someone will explain it to you in detail, I'm sure. Energy-rich water. What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Hanek told me they sometimes find batteries in the trash. Those contain energy. How about you ask him? Oh, sheesh. This whole quest is exhausting. Exhausting? Hanek is working right in front of this building. Hanek! I guess you'll have to move a few steps into his direction and talk to him directly. Hmm. Exhausting and stressful. The recipe says something about a revitalizing liquid. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. A liquid that makes something inanimate come to life again? That sounds scary. What's scary about that? Just imagine, a freezer making breakfast in bed for you. Yeah, obviously you've never been in a relationship with Tony. Don't worry, I'll manage. Hurry up, I can't wait to fire up this sweet machine for a test brew. This looks pretty... daring. It is. Great, that's what I wanted to hear. I'll be off then, getting all the ingredients. You do that. I'll be here if you need me. Nat's piss. The only thing to drink on the planet. Huh, not true. Luckily, I'm not susceptible to advertising. <laughs> I could do with a steak now. Flawless performance. Still some room for improvement, but that wasn't too bad for an amateur. Yeah, sure. As if it was even possible to hit that board with a dart. Huh? What was that? Oh. The emergency station has opened again. Oh, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Crap. Locked. Distrust everywhere. This could come in handy with my next amputation. Dr. Gizmo says Wenzel's toe could have been saved with non-corroded tools. I don't see what this will be good for. I mean, I already have enough holes in my teeth. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> Handcuffs in a scale. That must be a symbol for, uh... <laughs> Overloaded metaphors. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later.
Since the retirement home sunk into the ground, they don't let me work in the trash mines for community service anymore. Huh, maybe our system of justice is working after all. It looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. I've stashed it in there for an emergency. Oh, damn! It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. Strike! The crime rate has risen significantly over the past few years. Since round about my 18th birthday, luckily there's been almost no juvenile delinquents since then. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet, here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh. <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobbled down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. I'd like to buy something. With what? Or did you get a job recently that I don't know anything about? I'll pay you back. Really? Oh!
I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. You wouldn't have some coffee somewhere around here, would you? Since you've been staying with me, I've only had decaf. And even that is too strong. Maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder. It's just using up space, like you. I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fridge, you won't be getting anything else. No, I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. Hands off my stuff. What? I'm just browsing. Browsing is what paying customers do. What you mean is driving me nuts. Hey, stop it. What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough that I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Um, hands off, um. All right, all right. Ah, ouch, hey. Um, <laughs> um. Ouch, look at that. Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound and what a great pleasure. That is to say, Wait a minute. You dirty rat. Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please. I'm bleeding to death here. If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. Dr. Gizmo says it deals with the symptoms only, not with the cause. I wonder what he meant by that. On the syringe it says, only for drawing blood. <laughs> As if I need a special device for that.
Well, there we go. Black powder. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number, but then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah, nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance, but like this. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvax built on with this very rod. Yeah, well if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, uh, I haven't the slightest idea. Hey, maybe you can find water with the divining rod. And where, pray tell, would I start to look? In my basement? I should say that's highly improbable. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. Again? You haven't even returned my lawnmower yet. Oh yes, the lawnmower. You'd better get a new one. The old one had lousy aerodynamics. <sighs> what is it this time? Do you have any idea where I can get a stimulant? Have you asked Dr. Gizmo? Oh yeah, he did say something along those lines. I'm sure he must have something in his office. Good thing that I have such a phenomenal memory. I wouldn't have come to that conclusion otherwise. Do you have any idea where I can get some blackish powder? Black powder? No idea. Aren't you the expert concerning all things explosive? After all, every other invention of yours blows up. Which at the same time means that every first one doesn't. Do you have any idea where I can get clear water? Clear water? Pfft, that stuff only exists in legends. So what? My whole project is legendary. Huh, <laughs> legend has it that your father once found clear water. That's how he got to be mayor of Kuvak. They say that there are still a few bottles hidden away in the town hall. That's my old man, all right. He left Deponia, but instead of bequeathing me his fortune, 
He hid it. At least he left you the divining rod. Maybe it is possible to find some water with it. <laughs> Dream on. Do you have any idea where I can get revitalizing fluid? I once heard that it is supposed to be revitalizing to drink the blood of a bull. You believe everything people tell you, don't you? Like I'll get back the money that I loaned you? Exactly. Do you have any idea where I can get energy-rich water? Energy-rich water? What's that supposed to be? The only energy I know of is in the car batteries you find in the trash heaps everywhere. Yeah, well, I should have guessed that you can't give much useful information concerning energy, lazy bum. I think I'd better do this myself. Let's be honest, you were never a big help anyway. Whatever you say. <laughs> never a big help. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what? You don't get it? Not a big help. Because you're small. <laughs> Later. Exactly. He's bloated, he's useless, and he has a sponge in his kitchen. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. <laughs> this wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod, you are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me... And now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment. The moment of triumph. Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! Hey, that's my dad's divining rod. Right there! Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place! This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only! So draw a number, or bugger off! What have we here? I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. 
He believes the water vein might make Kulvac one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvac. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her. And I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, uh, um. Next up, number 63, please. Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotech? Uh, what? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. Huh. Well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. B be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But it was me who found her. As far as I know, it was Hannick who found her. Well, I found her first. And you just left her lying there? Uh, no, it was uh, different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe. Considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvac. Well, but 90% of those have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvac, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. But I have to help her return to her world. To Elysium? <laughs> That's a good joke. You should know better than anyone else that there's no way to leave Deponia. Nothing that ends up on Deponia will ever leave again. My dad made it. That's neither probable nor verifiable. I know that's what you'd like to believe, but I believe it's more likely that your father ended up crashing into some trash heap. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. That's too bad. How exceptionally reasonable of you. I've made my decision, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. No, that's it. Well, then just beat it! I need to get to the assembly hall. Gone. Well, never mind. What kind of contraption is it? How can anyone sleep in that thing? On the other hand, if you're stupid enough to sleep in your desk... What a pile of junk. Hey, that's Dad's water glass. I hardly ever saw him without it. He must have been worried about dehydration. this symbol. What's this? A hidden compartment? Well, looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> A key. 
My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm certain dad wanted to make sure that I'm the only one who could get this far, get to his big secret, his legacy. His liquor cabinet. That smell reminds me of something that's after shave was. I don't like the direction this is taking at all. Ugh. Is this really necessary? The seats are covered in tasteless pink leatherette. A puppet is pirouetting in the corner, and on the driver's sign it says, Sugar Puff. <laughs> Stupid name. Hello again. Hey, uh, um, uh, Rufus. Exactly. About my key again. Again? Well, if you insist. What was your name again? Sugar Puff. Sugar Puff? Hmm. Maybe I found your key, Sugar Puff. But I need to be sure it really belongs to you. What's your favorite color? Pink. Pink, you say? That sounds about right. And, uh, do you have a special hobby? I, uh, love the ballet. <laughs> Bullseye! Then this must be your key. This must be your lucky day, Sugar Puff. Yeah, I'm so happy I could just explode. Really? I might have a one-time job for you down in the mine. This is Sugar Puff's key, not mine. Huh, the hood doesn't have a lock here. It can probably be opened from the inside. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Hmm. Locked. Huh. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. So much power in such a heap of junk. What a waste. <clears throat> oh, I can't remove it. But how do I get access to the power that's harbored within them? I want the battery acid, and I have a dentist drill. <laughs> that's almost too convenient. Ah! Ow! <laughs> yeah! Ow! I've siphoned the acid without injuring myself. I'll drink to that. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh -huh. Brilliant idea, Rufus. What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well-chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it worked. That upset you. Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid that's pumping through those tubes. Draw blood from an enraged bull? <laughs> Child's play.
Bull's blood. Check. Extra rich water and reviving bull's blood. Exactly what good coffee water needs. I already have the special water, at least. I already have the special water, at least. A pinch of black powder. Stimulant. One whole chili. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer. <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. Into the tank you go. So, I have the powder already. Well, that's it. I found all the ingredients. Wonderful! I can't even tell you how excited I am to see what happens next. Y but I thought we were making espresso. Yes, you are right. This is an august moment, my friend. We shouldn't spoil it by worrying about the pressure within the nuclear core structure. Pressure within the nuclear core structure? Hear me, gods of our forefathers. Using just the most refined ingredients and the highest possible compression, we beseech thee, open the gates to the espresso-verse! Holy smoke! More pressure! More pressure! Okay, uh, okay. Are we... are we dead? No. Being dead feels completely different. Ugh. As you know, I have gazed deep into death's eyes more than once in my life. Oh, now that you mention it, that reminds me. Is Tony still wearing those contact lenses? Shh! Something's happening. Ouch! Whew. I think this brew is gonna do the job. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, she's asleep? Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. What's that stinging smell? 
smell. That's medicine. Says who? Says I. And who's the doctor here? <laughs> you tell me. Let's say it together. Me. me. It's a draw. Best out of three. You. 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 Ah, I win. Oh, crap. What's that funny smell? Ah, fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. Getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoa! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, oh, just where is... My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Huh? Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well... You're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, doodle. Pups? No, it, it's Rufus. Who... Yes. Pups? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. Nah. Because, I mean, you, you really fell from the sky, you know. Like an angel, <laughs> just like in the in the pickup line. <laughs> do, do, do you get it? Hello, anyone home? Home, 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 home. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Huh. She's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah. Uh, 
slash dash kazash. Savvy mommy, good. Oh, granny. Grumblump. Puzzle false. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Munch crunch. Attack a tick tock. Oh! Knock knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonka, kazonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick. We need to go back. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please. Contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I can do that. Can spam one tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But. Bootam swadikosu loko shootipop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Hello, Lottie. You again? Uh, <clears throat> you, you again? Do you know where I can make a radio call? You should talk to the operator. You'll find him at the post office. But the post office is closed. Well, I guess in that case, my suggestion was a bit of a letdown, wasn't it? I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my! I think you're right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> I 
cat in a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast and whoops-a-daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. What's this? Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do everything myself? Error. Error. All right, suit yourself. The job is so boring that only a robot can do it. And even that is already showing signs of clinical depression. Uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. State the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there absolutely no long distance devices? There are no long distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun, dude? Whoa. If you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3. And that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> so you have a thing for bubble wrap? Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats Exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's Hatch. Wow. Postal Service Replacement Cat's? <laughs> That's cute. And quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service Cat's when they catch dirt. But don't you have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's Hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's Hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's Hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of Postal Service Replacement Cats from the unlatched Postal Service Replacement Cat's Hatch to a latched Postal Service Replacement's Catch Backup Hatch. Holy moly. See you later. He looks fairly relaxed. Hey, Yoo-Hoo, hello. Hmm, yeah, what's up? How's work? Everything's calm here, except for those strange radio calls from this Cletus or something. I haven't had any work at all this morning. Cletus? That was a call from me. I have to talk to him at once. No chance, Bubba. The radio station is meant for postal services personnel only. You shouldn't even be up here. I have to make an urgent call. Uh-huh. And what, pray tell, has that got to do with me? Well, you're the one with the radio. Keep your hands off! This device is for Postal Service personnel only. You can transmit till you've got foam coming out of your ears if you want to. But you're not using this device. Capiche! Can I transmit now? Not from this device. Where can I make my call from? Is it local? No, long distance. Huh. 
Good luck with that. Besides this device, there's only one reserve system in the vault of the post office. Okay, I'll use the backup system then. You want to break into the vault? I'm beginning to believe what they say about you. You're suffering from a deluded sense of self-importance. What do you mean, suffering? Who's suffering? All right, everyone else is suffering from your deluded sense of self-importance. Heh, <laughs> that's more like it. Don't you get tired at some point? <laughs> You're messing with me, right? This is Kuvac. I'm as chilled out as can be. What? Pray tell? Should wear me out here? Well, uh, maybe looking that stupid? Well, can I at least borrow your headphones? Are you mad? I need those for work. Nice pigeons. Our messenger pigeons? Yeah, those are magnificent creatures, aren't they? <laughs> if you like contagious diseases. Did you know they take their bearings from the planet's magnetic field? Really? How do you know? I once tied strong electromagnets around their necks. The fools immediately flew the wrong way. Is that so? Yeah, straight towards this rusty mountain of metal over there. <laughs> You're not too busy up here, are you? I'll be going then. You do that. He shouldn't be here anyway. I totally agree. Well, the pigeons get their bearings from the planet's magnetic field, right? So, let's see what happens if I start fiddling with this a bit. <laughs> I love to play God. I'll leave it like this for now. Maybe this helps. I'm as deadly as a poison dart frog, but much cooler. A poison dart, um... Hmm, the funnel would make an excellent blowpipe. <laughs> Indeed. What the... a dart? A little longer. And... Ah... Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, uh, just, just a moment. What? Uh, Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead wick from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched.
<laughs> right, it should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now. <laughs> right, it can really speed up a bit. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, hey, hey. the coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. I got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Error, error. Postage paid is three times as much as it should be. Packages of postage level three are not suitable for the transport of small goods. Padding with bubble wrap initiated. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, 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 yeah. One heavy package is being dispatched. Pigeon from large pigeonhole is being dispatched. Now he's finally blown his last fuse, which was to be expected. Someone has pierced some holes into the sheet and put numbers on them. Ooh, the mailbot must have been really bored. Someone has pierced some holes into the sheet and put numbers on them. Ooh, the mailbot must have been really bored. One for now, and one for the road. Ha <laughs> ha! Rufus in the house, and soon he'll be in the vault. Now he's in the hall. Here he's hurting the foot. Ouch! Oops! Yeah! What's this? Neither mic nor headphones. Oh, must I do everything myself? Your parrot doesn't seem to be feeling so well. Holy cow! He's completely knocked out. How are we supposed to detect dangerous fumes now? It's always the same. The warning light is the first thing to break. You can take the bird if you want to. He's useless to me like that. Wakey, wakey! <laughs> See how that works? <laughs> Dozer.
Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow. So he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! Get out! Ugh. Ah! I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Paul Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a no good Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> what are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expert. <laughs> Cheap lies. Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Uh, yes. Tony has thrown out my drum set, and I had just installed a paintball mode. Rufus! Yes? Please don't block the line. The operator is already stressed out. But this is about my rights as an ex-boyfriend. I... Uh, oh, man. I hate radio calls. Inspector Gizmo speaking. You have an emergency to report? Rufus has stolen the squares off the children's merry-go-round. Rufus, I should have thought as much. What else do you know? Rufus has caused a nuclear meltdown. Rufus has stolen the antenna of Miss Ingle's tractor. A little slower, please. I can't follow you. Could you repeat that, please? I don't know if this was such a good idea. Could you repeat that, please? Oh, well, it'll be all right. At least the line is busy now. <laughs> the operator will be overjoyed. What else do you know? <laughs> I bet their message makes more sense than anything low-tech ever typed. The operator will thank me. Next, please! Next, please! Next, please! Rufus has stolen the screws off the children's merry-go-round! please! Next, please! All that's missing is the microphone. Ready to go. Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Uh, Cletus? Junk fly hazard in the northern quadrant caused by a flock of stampeding... Cletus! Come on! Your love is the most wonderful gift. Cletus? Cletus! Rufus is the most wonderful gift. They call him Rufus. Rufus! Searching for my fiance, calling all inhabitants of Deponia. Hey, wait a second. Name is Cletus. I am searching for my fiance. Possibly she is. Cletus? Cletus! 
Is that you? This is Rufus. Can you hear me? Hello, Rufus? Are you on Deponia? Of course I'm on Deponia. And where are you? On the Organon Cruiser? Or Elysium? That's none of your business. I found your fiancé. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Tall? Long hair? Brain implant fell from a passing organ on cruiser. She asked about you. Believe me, she's your fiancé. What's your price? First, I need some answers. Answers? Depends on what you want to know. Are you really from Elysium? Of course I am. But I don't get why you should care where I come from. What's it like on Elysium? Well, it's not as dirty and uncivilized as down here, and the people are less annoying, too. Brilliant! Sounds like the perfect place for me. What was your fiancé doing on board an Organon cruiser? That's none of your business. But isn't it a bit strange that a woman from Elysium was... Don't worry about things that go far over your head. Let's get down to business. Are the Organons planning something? Why do you want to know that? Listen, never get involved in matters of the higher spheres. You'll never understand what's happening up there above your head, let alone influence any of that. Don't even bother to try. Has your fiancé always been a bit odd? What? What are you talking about? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, nothing. Forget it. Uh, okay. Let's assume for a second that your fiancé is suffering from a kind of, um, Concussion. A concussion? Yeah, but a purely hypothetical assumption. <laughs> then you shouldn't waste time and get her to me. You'll be very sorry if you've hurt her. I need her brain to be fully functional. You really love her, don't you? A and you two are really engaged? Why are you asking me that? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, just, uh, <laughs> chewing the fat. Does your fiancé have a sister by any chance? What are you talking about? Oh, it's just a... <laughs> just a thought. You should spend less time thinking. Seems like your head isn't up to the task. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demands. What do you want in return for my fiancé? Money. A lot of money. That's blackmail. Well, fair enough. How much do you want? Well, I... I uh... I don't know. Uh, how much is a ticket to Elysium? Don't make a fool of yourself, man. Elysium is not a, an amusement park. I know that. Listen, no money in the world can buy a ticket to Elysium. Okay, well then there's no deal. Keep your dirty money. I intend to, believe me. Good. Good. Just one thing. What exactly is an amusement park? You still haven't told me everything. I guess I have my reasons, but if you insist. No further questions. Very good. Maybe we can go back to the matter at hand. Of course. Where were we? You wanted to make demand. What do you want in return for my fiancé? I'm not doing this for myself. I'm doing it for gold. What do you think I am, a fool? If you're trying to squeeze more money out of me, you better just say so. Well, what do you want? No reward is worth all this trouble. Everyone has a price, so why don't you quote yours already? What do you want? I want you to take me with you to Elysium. <laughs> Impossible! Well, that's my price. Either I can come along to Elysium, or... Listen, I can't take you to Elysium. There must be something else you need. Nope. I want a passage to Elysium or nothing at all. Well, then you'll get nothing at all. Well, if that's what you want, you can go ahead and cancel your wedding. Wait a minute. Maybe there's a way. I knew it. Bring gold to me. We'll meet at the Lower Ascension Station at the shore of the Rust Red Sea tomorrow night. I'll be waiting on top of the platform. Do you think you could make it there? Tomorrow night? Well, I don't know. If, uh... I thought you wanted to get to Elysium. What didn't you find gold after all? Well, I, I did. I did. Well... Then we have a deal. I'll meet you after sunset. Cletus, over and out. Just, w w wait a second. I, Cletus? Okay, Upper Ascension Station. Down on the, uh, up on the Lower Ascension Station. Up on top of the platform. Huh, easy as pie for a guy like me. Elysium, I'm coming!
But where is Goal? What the? Hey, what are you doing? Gizmo! Look at you! Finally, I brought you to justice. What is that supposed to mean? It's me, Rufus. I know. And believe me, it was not easy to solve this case. The case of your missing IQ? No, I'm talking about a series of crimes that have been committed this very morning. Ever since that girl appeared, our community has been in turmoil. Arson, sabotage, disrespectful behavior toward the authorities. You don't have any proof of any of that, you stupid idiot. Theft. I'm innocent. Yeah, okay, let me rephrase that. If I am guilty of any crime at all, then that crime is love. Everything I did, I did for gold. Where is she, by the way? Has she gained full consciousness yet? No, but she needed more room. She's with Mr. Wenzel. What? That treacherous toad? That's unfair. I found the Elysian. Me! It was me! Who found the Elysian? Uh... Wenzel found the Elysian. It was Wenzel, none other than him. Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Argus, Bailiff Argus, Organon Prime Administration. Ooh, the prime authority in my office. And I forgot to brush my teeth. How can I be of help, Bailiff? I heard you have an Elysian woman in custody. These are community matters. Is that so? Interesting. What if an Organon search party was to reduce your community to rubble? Would that be community matters as well? <laughs> Don't let him threaten you, Gizmo! The girl is with Mr. Wenzel! Gizmo, no! You'll find his house below the water tank, right next to the town gate. Thank you, Inspector. You'll just save your community a lot of suffering. Yeah, really. Well done. Shut up. What? What was that sound? How about emergency? Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. What happened? Where's the fire? Oh, Mr. Firefighter, my poor kitty climbed up the tree and she's afraid to come down. Don't worry, madam. I'm a professional. Come. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Genius prevails. <laughs> Wenzel! Rufus! What... What are you doing here? What am I doing here? Ha! You know very well what I'm doing here. Where is she? Rufus, please, let me explain. No, you spineless traitor! It's not what you think. We'll see about that. Ah! Tony? You? What are you doing here? Me? I don't know. Finally, at a loss for words, I don't believe it. But I don't care what you think, there is an easy explanation for all this. What? No! no I, I don't even want to know. I, I don't even remember asking. Keep your gross secrets to yourselves. I just want to know where Goal is. Who's Goal? Oh, so your little lover boy here didn't tell you about his other conquest. Conquest? Wenzel, what is he talking about? And why are you dressed like that? Well, um, I thought... Uh, Oh, and who the heck is Goal? No one, really. I mean, she's not even working properly. What the? Where is she, Wenzel? I put her in the basement. In the basement? Well, I see that you two have a lot to talk about. Have fun. Goal! Roger, please go. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. I'll get you out of here. Open up, Organon! But you're already inside. No excuses. The strong suspicion arose that you are harboring a member of the Resistance on the run. Rufus, what kind of mess is he in now? So, you admit your crime. He hasn't been harboring anyone. He just burst in. Go ahead. He's down in the cellar. Uh-oh. I have to think fast. Uh 
Uh-oh. What? Oh. Oh. Imminent blast! Now as it is written, our hero was smitten And rescued the maiden from impending doom On a horse made of steel, evil guys on his heels He rode with a girl into dawn's early gloom She awoke by his kiss, well at least more or less And the whole part concerning the uppercut scare Can be pinned at least to some extent On her damaged brain and plan Anyway, in a big picture, who's gonna care? Who's up? Who's gonna care? Oh, what a pain in the... Ooh, you really could make yourself a bit lighter, you know? Araba, flopa baba. Yeah, yeah, you don't say. From bad to worse, where are we anyway? Hey, that's the old junk mine rail system. Back in the day, it was used to transport heavy loads to the lower ascension station. Oh, sorry, babe. Don't take it personally. Now, I just need to find some kind of rail car and a way to get goal on it. Let's go! Well, she seems to have coped okay. I probably shouldn't have parked her under a beehive when I took a break, though. Ah! Oh. oh, that was quite a drop. Luckily, I fell onto the backbone of some poor sucker whose fall wasn't as lucky as mine. Ah, oh, looky here. Seems like the bridge collapsed. It doesn't matter, though. It isn't the first bridge that I've torn down today. And the gold. What am I going to do with the gold now? Damn! Huh. The unconscious woman in peril is caught on the other side of the canyon. And this is a rusty old train for loading rail cars. Well, you don't have to be a genius to make the connection. Inducing rust and unsecured power cables as far as the eye can see. Oh, <laughs> time I got out of here. Come on now. Ah, nothing. Damn. No matter what awaits me behind it, I'm prepared. This is beyond repair. Let's throw it out. Oh yeah, exactly the right carriage for my princess. I'll sit here. Uh, where will she sit? Check. Something still missing here. Oh yeah, of course. My interest. Uh, nothing. I have to stop expecting quality craftsmanship everywhere. Plans to be a trash hunter, I would have stayed in Kubat. In any case, I'm not going to rummage through there without good reason. Whoa, who's that? Hmm. A rusty drain pipe, chewing gum, some floss. Ah, this will make a magnificent prosthetic. Dum de dum de dum. And the signalman seems to have set his last points. Hey, you, come down from there. Oops. One thing's for certain. This is not the key to eternal life. <laughs> Too high. That must be the fuse box for the signal. The box is screwed shut, as if a hex bolt could stop me. What naive dunces. It's real filthy. I can't make out anything. Where's Tony when you need her? 
Oh, hey, oh boy, it's dark in here. Luckily, I have mastered the high art of sonar orientation. I just have to listen to the sound wave reflecting from the walls, and foo, I can see like a bat. Uh, this is a wall, no doubt about it. Ha! Finally, some light! Huh? The darkness must have distorted the sound waves. I don't have any other explanation. idea to ride a mind bike while drunk because of tunnel vision. <laughs> On the other hand, there are a lot of tunnels around here. Whoa, 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 hold your horses, laddie. Don't you even want to say hello before you're grabbing my hip flash? Yeah, whatever. Who are you? Why do you want to know that? Are you a spy of the Organon? What? I... No! My name is Rufus. Yeah, I know I sometimes come across as enigmatic and threatening, but... <laughs> it was just a joke, Rufus. Of course you're not a spy, the way you're dressed and all. Huh? I'm Doc. Handyman, trash hunter, spare parts dealer, brain surgeon. I own a small store on the floating black market. You might know my slogan from the communal broadcasts. Machine head, proper head, all the same to me. Visit Doc! Da -da 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 -da. They call him Rufus. Yeah, I know that one. I'm a handyman myself. Ah! A colleague. Very good. What are you working on at the moment? <laughs> Roughly speaking, a plan to reach Elysium. Why, look at you. Daring to try the impossible. I like that. There's a man who doesn't get distracted by the impossibility of the task at hand. Exactly. One who'd rather risk a bloody nose before he accepts that he can't break through a wall with his head. Uh, yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> I like you, Rufus. Always towards the sun. And when the wings start melting, he makes sunglasses from the molten wax. Yeah, I'm a pretty cool guy. Spare parts and brain surgery? What a strange combination. You think so? I always thought that both professions are more or less in the same vein. Oh, I see. Like genius and madness. I'll take that as a compliment. But you're damn right. So what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, you look like a wombat ruffling through the trash hunting for food. I'm looking for spare parts. I knew that. Well, found anything yet? If you know what you want, you'll always reach your goal. Hey, that's my family's motto. Oh, no, wait. My family's motto was, it's enough to know how to light a fire. There will be others around who know how to operate an extinguisher. Is it far to the lower ascension station? No, no, not at all. Great. It's right behind this mountain of trash. Grandissimo. Right behind the unbeatable mine maze. Terrific. Let's do a thought experiment, in case a fellow handyman would face a problem. Really, just hypothetical. Handymen don't know any problems, only challenges. No, oh, my thoughts exactly, but Handymen help each other out when they face a challenge. No doubt about it. That's the second most important rule of the handyman's code. Right after, ne'er show thy nail gun to the other handyman's wife, lest he'll show you his at very close range. Yeah, uh, important rule. <laughs> All right, shoot. What's the trouble? When the mine bike doesn't start, for example. You mean that rust bucket over there? What does it do? Well, it rattles a little, and then the engine dies. <laughs> it would seem that the good old wing brake parallel shank is inverted on the horizontal axis inside the dorsal rump emanator once again, wouldn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, the uh, parallel shake. Oh, you know, that always happens to me, too. You better be happy that it wasn't anything serious. That's no real problem for us handymen, right? No, of course not. I just wanted to get a second opinion. Why, really? How could there possibly be two different opinions about a thing like that? The avial power inverter is shut. And what a stroke of luck. I've just found one. Here you go. Hey, Grace, this is exactly what I need. What's wrong? Shall I help you fitting it, too? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Nonsense. Fitting an avio power thingy. I can do that in my sleep. Well, I did that once. The next morning, my wife left me. Since then, I've given up sleeping on water beds. Is there anything else? My girlfriend is too heavy. Is that so? Well... I have just a piece of advice you need. Really? Yes. Keep your hands off women like that. All you'll accomplish is a strained pelvis. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Is there anything else? My girlfriend has a malfunctioning brain implant. You've come to the right place, then. It has to be destiny that our paths cross. Does that mean you can fix it? Of course I can. Perfect. But not here, I'm afraid. Oh. Just bring her to my practice on the floating black market tomorrow. Tomorrow, you say? Oh, crap. That's too late. No, no. You can walk about for weeks with a malfunctioning brain implant without any serious long-term damage. My wife managed to go about her business with a charred frontal lobe chip for two years. Two years? Yeah. She could only speak gibberish. It's a shame that I didn't even notice. Is there anything else? Nothing that I can't handle myself. Very well. You want a job done well, you do it yourself. DIY for the win. You seem to know your way around women. Ha! You said it. Why do you ask? Do you think someone like me could get involved with a woman from Elysium? Oh, Rufus, like I always say, it's the same with women like it is with building a power inverter. You can attach a screw bushing to a spherical body, but never a clamp bushing to a cubicle one. Uh, uh... A friend of mine knows this woman. He thinks that she's really got something. But... But... Well, she's kind of engaged. Oh, my, Rufus. You sure know some weird people. Well, the situation isn't any more complicated than the assembly of a power inverter. As long as the mold muff has to stay attached to the cubicle body, there will never be an avial power inverter with a mold muff. Makes sense, eh? Uh... Can a misunderstood but extremely laid-back guy from the wrong side of the tracks compete against a rich Elysian? Oh, dear. It's always the same old story. Love may give you wings, but a dorsal power inverter still has more spokes on the bevel than a binausial one. That's just how things are. All right, what can I do to catch the attention of a woman who's already engaged? Well... There's no recipe for that. But if you ask me, I'd tell you to take the power inverter as an example. Four spokes, screws. Two spokes, clamps. It's that easy. Ah, forget it. I know more about women than anyone else. I see. So you're a ladies' man, too? Well, I hope I could help you anyway. A handyman's best friend, yes. Steadies your hands and frees your mind. Lowers the inhibitions to get your hands close to rotating blade. And is as good a disinfectant as it is a painkiller. Go on, have some. There's enough for the both of us. I have to get moving. Be safe. Always use goggles. And visit me on the floating black market in case we don't meet here again.
Let's give it a try. Whoops. Oh, it's always the same with these uh, ravioli inverters. I, I hope it's still functional. Where's it gone? Oh, there, and there, and there. And here's another part that looks the same. Damn, what's supposed to be a part of it and what isn't? I can build a power inverter in my sleep. Off into the inventory with it. I wonder if I can assemble a second one. Not bad, Rufus. You're a natural. I'll just assemble the third one real quick. There. <laughs> I bet the doc couldn't have done it as brilliantly as me. Sit tight. Ha! I mean, uh, of course it does. It's a piece of cake for a pro. Let's give it a try. Like a kit with asthma. A cool, exploding asthma kit. Oh. Yippee! Whoa, a lever! Wow, what a ride! wonder where I am. Hey, wait a second. This looks exactly like the starting point, only I'm facing the other direction. Huh. They must have arranged the tracks symmetrically, or I must have gone in a circle. I knew this would happen. This says I haven't loaded enough crash to be able to switch the points. That doesn't matter, though. I can't take off without goal anyway. Locked. This says I haven't loaded enough crash to be able to switch the points. That doesn't matter, though. I can't take off without goal anyway. Huh? Ah, yep, all clear. I don't have any trouble with pasta recipes. All signals are on go, so why am I still here? Looky here! There really was a secret passage! I wonder where it leads. Top notch! I was talking about one sip, not the whole bottle. <laughs> Did I tell you that I have herpes? What the? So what's the big idea drinking from my bottle? I'm a doctor. Amongst other things, I can't afford any disfiguring infectious diseases. Who'd be willing to undergo brain surgery if I had one? Yeah, who would? Wipe the bottleneck clean at once and thoroughly. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. Now I have a cloth soaked in alcohol. Hi there. Do you come here often?
Don't drop it, you hear? I install the power inverter here. The signal is doing the exact opposite of what the signal light is showing. <laughs> Excellent! Huh, the bright light stabilizes the sound waves. I can see in the dark. It's out! The lever for the points, detached and discarded. It was probably the signalman's last wish for the mind bike to never roll again. Well, he didn't reckon on me. Hey, there's still something in there. This is still half full. <coughs> Only a beetle. Child's play. Da la la da da li li di di li li. Ready? Go. Crap! Oh damn! What's wrong with me? I'm usually totally laid back. It must be the fumes from the mine. How can Doc stand them? Huh? I better go and ask him. Hi there. Huh? What? Oh! Hello. I have some more, uh, challenges. Keep them coming! Doc, I, I'm a, a little highly strung. <laughs> I can see that. Look at you. The hands, the eyes, the hair. Huh? You should do something about it. Unrest is a handyman's death. If I get too twitchy, I meditate. Meditate? Yes. You should try it for yourself. Like this. Lodge your leg behind your head and fixate on a point on the horizon. Wait, I'll show you. Choose a point on the horizon and stare at it. Choose a point on the horizon and stare at it. That's right. Can you see how everything gets more focused and how the colors are more lively? I have fixated on that strange blue shape to the right. Now I let my eyes wander to the north until I see a blue pole. Now I gaze far over to the west to that green thing. And then in a straight line to this blue thing down there. And then finally, uh, whoa, I'm already utterly and trance. In any case, you have to tell the world who you are. I am a river. After that, I take a good swig from my hip flask, and I'm all relaxed. Got everything? <laughs> Are you 
it all along. You don't need yoga if you're resourceful. Leg behind the head, check. Fixate horizon, check. Here we go. Rufus, Rufus, extra heavy when I lugged you up the hill just now. Never mind. The controls are exposed, and there's a circuit diagram. This'll be easy as pop. Yeah! Now we're really going places! Check it out, babe! Never Oh, Rufus, you really are the best! True. So very true. <laughs> If you like that, then you'll love what's coming next. Oh, yeah. Look, the rails are still warm. What? Don't say you've already got one of these new infrared visors. Um, no. My beard sonar has gone to red alert. They have to be somewhere close by. I'll send a helmet fax to the bailiff immediately. You two are shitting me, right? Hold on for a second. My shoulder seismograph is giving me strange readings. You're right. I feel it too. Uh, um... Guys, strange. According to the soul barometer in my boot, the ground pressure hasn't changed. My sock spectrometer is still processing the data. Um, guys, so it can't be an earthquake. Wait, my kneecap ultrasound detector is registering strange readings from... an easy man to break. <laughs> they call him Rufus, Rufus. And what a sight, the Lower Ascension Station. <sighs> I did it once again. You see that? I did it. I, 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 oops. Maybe I should get you to a place that is a little more comfortable. Luckily, it'll be a downhill ride from here. So do you want to be carried? Which would be plain boring or you prefer the fun and fast way. Yeah!
Historians would die for a way to decipher Apparently missing text passages here They still found no reasons why scratches and lesions Related to gold subsequently appear But then why should it bother you? For he finally managed to haul her more or less unharmed to the rendezvous spot And that without expecting any pay Except for the reward for time It's not about the context, so get on with the plot Huzzah, get on with the plot You'll be safe here for now. We just need to wait for your fiance to show up. That Cletus guy is really a lucky fella. I hope he'll keep his promise. Well, now we just have to wait. I guess I should search for a way up to the platform on top of the tower. The view should be good from up there. I've laid her down on a bed of roses. Well, rose hips to be precise. Oh yeah, the gentle touch of nature's itching powder. Fished with dynamite and sun-dried. A uh, one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. Yummy! Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid, too. Wow, exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. All I wanted to have was the stick anyway. A uh, one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Aha! One off, two on. I'm getting there. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? What if I calculate cross totals? I've had that before. I have to think binary. It's impossible that these levers don't have any significance. It's simply impossible. What if I calculate cross totals? I've been here before, as a kid, with my dad. I followed him here. When he noticed me, he was so happy that he bought me some cotton candy. Then he said I should wait for him while he was looking for the cable boat to Elysium. I never saw him again. One serving of cotton candy, please. I suppose the machine has no ears and no eyes. Otherwise, it'd be able to see who it's dealing with. Hey, there's something behind it. What the? A plug! Oh, man. Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. Ah! Now it's set to Calzone. Now it's set to Phosphor. doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach in it instead, with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. Chewing gum, and fast. What? Hmm. I want chewing gum. Huh. Voice control seems to be broken. doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. Hmm. I'll keep the rest for later. Much later. That's the entrance to the candy shop. After Dad left me, I lived there for a week. It wasn't an hour. Time passes so slowly when you're high on sugar. The mosaic depicts waving people and a farewell party with barbecued sausage. 
and loads of white confetti. No, no, that's just my blood circulation because I'm trying so hard. I need more light. The stick fits into the fixture. To shed light on the mosaic, the cotton candy would have to be on fire or something. Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Huh, the mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been Barbecue Thursday. Only mud and dust. That's all I can make out. R, U, F, that wasn't it. Maybe this? R, U, nah, I've tried that. But what else could it be? Huh, the mosaic depicts a bunch of little guys. They seem to be building something. The raggedy clad little guys carry giant steel girders up a steep ramp. The fancily clad ones stand at the side and design fancy ornaments. Hey, that's the Ascension Station, the departure to Elysium. And I'm there too. Pretty deep and bright. Might be the nuclear reactor down there. Mmm, foamy. doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. Crap, the mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. I need more light. Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now, we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time.
Huh? Why doesn't this fit? I guess I'll just have to press harder. Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in! Go in! Damn thing, you're supposed to... Oops. Uh-oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it. The system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R U F U S. Oh yeah. Huh. Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. Ugh. But it's no better than it was before. R U F U Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? Well, so far so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. <laughs> and why not? I see. The Ascension Code. That's what the catch was. sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. There he comes. Addies, Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the Ascension Codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but... They're certainly up to no good, and I can never allow Goal to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me.
Cletus. Rufus. Finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect. Genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No gold, no deal. So what now? So, the deal is still on? Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grr. Why should I trust you? Why should I trust you? I asked first. What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh. One thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up. Right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories, up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium. To examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No, you'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho oh, ho, bravo, you really did understand everything. Yes, oh boy, am I good. I'm so incredibly good. <laughs> All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh, yes. How much do you hate Deponia? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? 
I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls, the whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash, we eat junk you want me to get my ass into gear you can watch my ass disappear i'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds what can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town the job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want count me out you hear me dad count me out and you know something else I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litter bug now? Huh? Who's the litter bug now? <sighs> okay. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Oh yes. Have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll go and fetch gold, finally. This guy's luggage. I bet he forgot the bolt cutter. Of course not. You never know when you have to cut through a wire fence. No. get any closer. The Organons would see me. I could make a grappling hook from the ornament and the pole. Not a bad idea, but I'll wait until I really need something like that. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Ammunition. Check. All hands, battle stations! Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So, please carry on. Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. This'll be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. 
Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see him very much from up there anyway. Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh, yes. Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. Organon said something about a backup cartridge. Oh, that is none of your business. You take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Goal's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? Yeah. I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well, uh... But, my dear Bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the Ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, We'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Uh, of course. <clears throat> oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. before that Argus guy does. Maybe there's a trail. Aha! Uh -huh. A trace. It seems that gold was dragged toward the exit. Don't worry, babe. Rufus to the rescue.
pile of filthy syringes. Who throws out something like that? Well, free choice. Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, gosh! Huh. This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? A monster must have abducted coal. No normal human being could open that with bare hands. I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up? Oh, there has to be a different solution. Wow, a real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh, the whale looks hungry. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Huh, it doesn't even seem to see them. Let there be light. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am, behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Ah, oh, locked. Distrustful bunch, these pirates. A harmless trawler. The perfect disguise for pirates and slave traders. Well, who do we have here? <laughs> Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So? That's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh... Oh, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well, then you come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Um... Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? It's just some dust on the contact pins. That's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Something like that, yeah. I wouldn't take that feather duster. I use it to clean the tanks. Oh, sounds promising enough. If you can clean a tank with it, then it must work twice as well for a measly cartridge. I know what I'm doing. Hey, you've stolen my key. And you have kidnapped my girlfriend. 
Oh, she was not kidnapped. And I can put her back out into the cold if you prefer. And how are you gonna do that all without a key? Not a problem. My door is always open. So, you shouldn't be wondering when things get stolen around here all the time. That guy claims to be a pirate? I'm not a pirate. And I didn't kidnap anyone either. Hmm. He does lie like one. Well, can I help in any way? <laughs> nice try, but I'm not gonna fall for it. <laughs> I'm not conning you. I... Don't even try, Blackbeard. If I find out you've done anything to the girl... Well, I'd never. Uh, what do you mean? She was like that when I first found her. I thought she could use a doctor. Yo-ho-ho and a bottle of rum, right? What? No. I... I thought so. I suggest a truce. Not because I'm scared of you, but out of consideration for the lady, okay? I don't even have any weapons. Are you calling me a coward? If you want to fight, you just have to say so. What's going on here? Do you even listen to what I say? Huh. I thought as much, you chicken. How can you bear to be in this stinking pirate's den? But I've just cleaned it up. Oh yeah? Well, the rear ends of sea cows smell better than you. <laughs> hm. Maybe I'll give it another good mopping later. Ha <laughs> By Neptune's navel, to the port side! Arr! And don't you get in our way, you hear? You can burn and loot as much as you want later on. But right now, I need some expertise in precision engineering. Well, I've studied precision engineering. I've even had three years of... Yeah, yeah, spare me your stories about your looting expeditions, Mr. Teach. I'm dealing with a problem that can't be solved with brute force here. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Release Doc. But he's booked a passage to the floating black market. Oh yeah? And your mother has booked for two, I suppose. Hey, leave my old mother out of this. Whatever this is. Touche, Captain. Touche. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. I'm just sitting here. That's right. That's right. There. Open. Let's get rid of the key. What have we here? A small brush, miniature bellows, a sealed pack of hand wipes. Pfft, <laughs> useless junk. I want to clean a cartridge, not refurbish a doll's house. Ah, yes. This looks much better. A steel brush and a bottle of degreaser. I'll, uh, leave the girly stuff. Goal's memory is stored on it. Caution advised. Hmm. Ah well, that's just a tiny speck of dust. We'll have that cleaned up in no time. <laughs> no! I already raised enough dust with this. Oh, blech. The duster has dusted everything with dust. And... Oh, oh no. Grease spot. I'll have to give it the once over. What a mess. Whoa! More dust. Perfect. What the? Even more lint? Whoa! <laughs> no! I already raised enough dust with this. Whoa! What a mess. What a mess. The steel brush on Goal's consciousness chip? Only if I absolutely can't avoid it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, this is beyond help. <laughs> Good thing I still have an ace up my sleeve. Ta-da! 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 Good as new! And those scratches could have come from anywhere. So... Did you clean the contact pins yet? Yep, all clean and shiny. Very good. Show me.
Just a minute. Did this have those scratches before? What? Oh, those. I noticed them before. Inconceivable how those young ladies treat their brain implants these days, isn't it? Yes. And they don't even have to eject them from their drives, either. Inconceivable. Well, a couple of scratches. They can't be too grave, can they? Talking about grave, has someone engraved his name and a little heart on there? Uh, you better give that back. It'll work just fine. Well, it has to. people too. Deponians! So it is true. Deponia is inhabited. The Organon lied to us. I have to contact Cletus. Well, uh, that's almost a good idea. <laughs> Just almost, unfortunately. Your oh-so-wonderful fiancé is in cahoots with the Organon. Cletus is... what? Ah, uh, my head. Maybe you should sit down first. But I'm already sitting. Don't worry, baby. I'll explain everything. I saved you. I can hardly remember anything. Not even how I saved you from the clutches of the Organon? There was this conveyor belt, and hey, you were there too. You were operating those levers. Or how I nursed you back to health. I, I remember a, a Stinging taste on my tongue. And how I carried you halfway around the planet. Wait a minute. Wasn't there a crane? Well, obviously, you don't remember anything. Be that as it may, you can thank me later. Your implant was malfunctioning. Your fall from the Organon cruiser damaged it. The Organons pushed me off the cruiser? Well, yes. Thank junk, I could fix everything. Actually, it was me who supervised the repairs. Yeah, of course you did, Gramps. <laughs> Everyone wants a slice of acknowledgement. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right. And now everything's all right again. Exactly. Cletus is a traitor. He's collaborating with the Organon. Of course he is. The Organon is our escort on our reconnaissance mission. Yes, uh, of course, but somehow Ulysses has convinced him to falsify his report. He'll advise the Council of the Elders to blow up Deponia. Despite the planet being inhabited. The monster! Exactly! The Organon wants to destroy Deponia. I know that. That's why Cletus and I came here, to see if Deponia was really uninhabited. But people do live here, and Ulysses wants to hide the fact, so that he can blow up Deponia anyway. We must stop him at all costs. Uh, I agree. You've been kidnapped by a pirate. How often do I have to repeat myself? I'm a garbage dealer. I just wanted to help. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. He won't hurt you. Of course I won't. Why would I do that? You see? I'm protecting you. Enough talking. We have to prevent the Organon from destroying Deponia. It'd be best if you took me along to Elysium. Then we could tell your people the truth, and everything will be fine, right? Right. Uh, for real? You're taking me along? To Elysium? Why wouldn't I? All we need is a perfect plan. Huh. <laughs> Hey, you're talking to the right man. Perfect plans are my specialty. Okay, shoot! We should set a trap for Argus. Preferably, we'll dig a pit first, then we'll camouflage it with some mud, then we'll sound the alarm. And while you sit on the adjacent hill, dressed as a giraffe... Wouldn't it be easier to pass you off as Cletus? You bear a striking resemblance to him. Well, I don't know. My body is much better toned. We'll overpower him and go back to Elysium together. Oh, that could work. It's a good thing I thought of that. And what about us? Oh, you... Don't worry. When Elysium is informed that there's still life on Deponia, they'll call the demolition off. Yeah, and we'll be on Elysium. We'd be heroes. And everybody will be happy. Exactly. Well, what are we waiting for?
Uh-oh. That's August and his officials. Quick, take cover. Again, we are searching for a Deponian male and a tall Elysian female. We found their traces, so we know that they must still be nearby. If you find them, arrest them at once. The Elysian must not be eliminated. The Deponian, on the other hand, may. Hey, did you hear that? Yeah, I guess I'm too much of a threat to them. Why? Is he too much of a threat to us? No, don't worry. He's just in our way. Hey. Get to work, men. There must be someone in the compound. Keep an eye on that gate. Don't let them escape. Tch. They obviously have no idea who they're dealing with. Stay down. I'll show them the meaning of he's just in our way. Go get him, Tiger. I hope Gold is watching this. This is something that I'll only do once. What was that? Meow. No, that was not a cat. That was something big. Meow. A cow. A cow must be entangled in this pile of junk. So it would seem. Ch stupid animal. Whew. It's a good thing I'm always thinking on my feet. No, forget it. There's nothing there. Now I hear it, too. Hello? Hello, who's there? You're paranoid, 2017. Wasn't half bad. Hey, half bad is my second name, babe. Stop calling me that. Oh, come on. We need to hurry. Stop. Who goes there? It's me, Cletus, accompanied by my charming fiancé, Go. Finally, I was afraid she'd already eloped with that disgusting Deponian. What a bizarre thought. Oh, contraire, Buttercup. Don't be afraid to admit that you did cast a covetous eye on that, <laughs> Rufus. Very understandable. To me, he seemed like a dashing daredevil. On the contrary, Honey Bunny. He was nothing more than a self-centered fool. That's enough! You two will have enough time to frolic once we've returned to Elysium. Oh yeah, finally, final, um, fi 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 final preparations for our return have been made. Very well. Now, I need to talk to you in private, Ambassador. Uh, uh of, of course. Why don't you scuttle on ahead, darling? Me and the bailiff have urgent matters to discuss. <laughs> Seemingly. B but... Shoo shoo, sugar. <laughs> if you insist, <laughs> so we'll see each other in a short while then. Toodaloo. Have you lost your mind completely? I thought we had an agreement. The memories of Ms. Goal must be deleted. And we need the Ascension Codes. Don't panic. I'm working on it. I'll swap the cartridges and uh, leave the original on the platform. Th th that should make everyone happy, right? Yes, everyone except for the Deponians. <laughs> if you try anything funny, I'll personally decapitate you with a rusty knife. <laughs> Be 
hilarious. People are living here, Cletus. I've seen them with my own eyes. I already told you. Ulysses is right. We can't... Am I interrupting? Rufus, finally. I was about to throw this ignorant idiot from the tower. Don't ask me why I fancied him in the first place. What are you doing, Rufus? I thought we had an agreement. Think again, Cletus. I'll go to Elysium with Gaul. <laughs> this is a joke, right? Please go. Tell me that this is a joke. It's not a joke. Rufus will come to Elysium with me. He'll help me to tell everyone the truth about Deponia. <laughs> and you really believe they'll grant someone like him access to Elysium? Why not? Everyone will think it's you. Him? Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. Look at the way he dresses. Disgusting. Do I have to get angry first? Are you threatening me? Listen, bub, I've got the third ascat in the art of Shwekulu. Yeah, just like I do. Oh yeah, what's your doujin? Uh, five? Five? I mean, uh, yellow. Fire? Capricorn? Ocelot? Damn. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You two go ahead and sort it out between you. But, Rufus? <laughs> and you're planning to elope to Elysium with a wimp like that? Don't make me laugh. At least Rufus knows how to treat a woman well. Oh, you mean right after he's bludgeoned her with a club? What have we here? A second disguise. Let's see who's the better Cletus. At least Rufus is fighting for something he believes yeah. in. Oh, well, you mean he's fighting for the Easter Bunny? Almost as good as my handmade disguise. Ha <laughs> ha! The inventory in these rags is ridiculously small. You can't even fit a bucket and mop in there, let alone a parrot and two cats. I'll put my stuff here for now. Rufus is twice the man you are, hands down. Maybe his feet All right, are twice that's the enough. size. <laughs> so this is the wimp you want to replace me with. Don't make me laugh. Don't make me laugh. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. I already told you that you shouldn't ape me. Besides, that doesn't sound even remotely like me. I think he does quite a good impression of you. Huh. Be that as it may, this one-man flea circus will never pass for me. He can try and put on my clothes all he wants and infest them with bugs. There is still one thing where I'm completely different. Oh my... Your sagging butt cheeks? <laughs> My birthmark, you dumbass. Yeah, what are you doing? Ouch! No, don't! Ha! <laughs> yeah! We did it! We really did it! Towards Elysium! Not so fast, buddy. What was the agreement that Cletus was talking about? What? Oh, that. Forget it. That's all toxic waste under the bridge. Let's go. To Elysium! Wait a minute. That's it, right? You don't even care about what happens to Deponia. You just want to get to Elysium, whatever the cost. Me? No! What a change of attitude. He sounded quite different earlier. Deponia stinks. Only idiots live here. If it were up to me, they could blow the whole place sky high. Yada, yada, yada. You keep out of this. Don't believe a word he's saying, Gol. He just wants to drive us apart. But how do I know I can trust you? Trust this rat. Don't make me laugh. Gol, he hates Deponia. He's an egomaniac, a thief, and a traitor. Just go through his things. I'm pretty sure you'll find a backup card just in case you realize what he's up to. He wouldn't do that. Well, go ahead. Have a look. Gaul, don't. Gaul, listen, you don't understand. I think I understand very well. You know, Rufus, I really thought you were something special. But I am something special. I know you think that, but you're nothing but an egotistical scoundrel. You don't only resemble Cletus on the outside. Come over here. I want to take a good look at you before I return to Elysium alone, so I can remember what kind of a face not to fall for yet a third time. Oh, God. 
I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> Bother! What next? Argus! About time, too! Get me down from here! Why should I? From the start, you've been jeopardizing our plans, Cletus. Rufus, on the other hand... You can't be serious. You're not saying you trust this lying rat more than me. Why not? He is indeed a lying rat. Hey. But that's what makes him the perfect man for the job. He'll be celebrated as a hero in Elysium. And he'll get the girl. He'll get everything he ever dreamed of. Do you really think he'd risk all that just to save his home that he loathes so much? He's not man enough to do that. Once Gold sees his true self, he'll lose everything he tried to achieve. He'll never take that risk. Congratulations, Rufus. You did it. Just insert the backup cartridge and you can leave. Elysium awaits you. Do you want me to roll for a while? No, no. Don't worry. I know that you need to go easy on your back. And once we're back on Elysium, I'll give you a nice back rub. Okay? I guess so. Come on, don't make such a gloomy face. In a way, it's a good thing that our inspection was without results. Although, I can't remember everything. Or was there something else? Um... Come on, how about a bit more enthusiasm towards Elysium and all that? Yes? No? Um... What's wrong? Is there something you'd like to tell me? Aren't you happy to be going back to Elysium? I am. It's just that... Well then? Towards Elysium, right? Say goal. Yes. Um, it's like this. I'm all ears. Well. What are you stammering about? Spit it out. It's just that. You're beginning to scare me. What's wrong with you? All right, then. I'm going to tell you now, but you have to promise not to get mad. Why, Cletus? Why would I get mad at you? Calm down. Relax. Relax! Some con man erases my memory, poses as my fiancé, and almost gets me involved in a genocide, and I'm supposed to relax! I, I told you about it, didn't I? I mean, I'm the, I'm the good guy! You'll be the dead guy if you don't return my old memories! But that'd be suicide! Believe me, buddy, not doing it would be suicide! Okay, okay! And now, remove! This fragment of pseudo-personality from my brain. And don't even think about inserting it again. Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Ungrateful... Ooh. Fortunately, the goal on the other cartridge likes me a bit more. This has to go faster! We need those codes! Yes, Bailiff. You do know what's at stake. If Ulysses had had his way, we'd all perish here on Deponia. Yes, Bailiff. Any problems here? No, Prime Controller, sir. Just a relay that short-circuited. This matter is of no concern now. I want to address the crew before we head on to Portofisco. Immediately! As you wish, Prime Controller. You heard the man. Get moving! It's now or never. Hello? 
Surprised, are we? I bet you thought you finally made it, huh? Lady Luck loves the righteous, so on and so forth, right? Well, think again, buddy. It's almost ironic. For once in your life, you decide to do the right thing, and immediately you lose everything. <laughs> your dream turns into a nightmare. The love of your life is lost, and your home planet gone. <laughs> I would really love to pity you now, but the cable boat is ready, and the ascension codes have been entered. I don't want to let Elysium wait for me any longer. After all, they're expecting a report from me. I could have left already, by the way, but how shall I put it? My back is troubling me. I don't want to do all the rowing by myself. So, hand over the cartridge. Now, Gold's memories about your failed attempt to mess with my plans should still be stored in her short-term memory. I can delete that in a minute. Hand it to me. <laughs> you wish. What is going ah, on here? The Organon. Always on time, always reliable. I guess I owe you an apology. That rat didn't swallow your cheese, Bailiff. But I'm not an unforgiving person. Once Rufus hands over the cartridge, we'll be able to carry out our scheme as planned. Now more than ever. You heard him, Rufus. Give him the cartridge now. Come on, Rufus. Be reasonable. I will return to Elysium no matter what. You can't change that. But if you hand over the data, you'll at least have a chance at saving goal. So, what do you say? Do we have an agreement? Okay, you win. Here's the cartridge. <laughs> How unusually reasonable of you. <laughs> and I bet that Goal would be thankful too. Unfortunately, she will never know that you even existed. My, my, my. Deponio will make such a great display of fireworks for our wedding. <laughs> What happened? Um, a lot. Uh, uh, can't you remember anything at all? Of course I can remember. I... I... Um... We two were on board an Organon cruiser. We wanted to inspect Deponia, right? We're on Deponia now. Our mission is over. Did I fall asleep? There, there was an accident. You fell from the cruiser. That's why you can't remember anything. But take a look around. Deponia really... It's deserted. Unbelievable. Nothing but junk. Yes, just junk. Nothing else. Come, let's go home to Elysium. We have to prepare our wedding. Yes, let's go. Well, that's that, I guess. I'll be on my way, too. The way home to Kuvak is long, and I need to prepare for the apocalypse. Not so fast, Sonny. You didn't think we'd let you leave just like that. You know too much. Also, I believe you have something that belongs to us. Oh, yes. The cartridge. Hmm. Give it to me. What is it? What are you waiting for? Oops. No! <laughs> so long, suckers! What? Uh, no! Get that traitor! Shoot him! Well, my friend, did you lose something? The cartridge. Uh, bravo, Prime Controller, sir. See you later. No! Stop! Oh, hey. Oof. What are you doing? Stop! 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 Ah, you damn fool! Let go! Uh-oh. Uh huh. <laughs> Back so soon? That was a pretty impressive fall, and you managed to land in the pile of needles. Never seen anything like it. You have my respect. 
Everything all right, kid? You seem a bit stressed out. There. The course is set. Next stop, the floating black market. Good. Great. Fine. Are you all right, Rufus? You sound all tuckered out. You didn't finish telling me what happened up there on the tower. I don't want to be nosy, but... Uh, is Deponia safe? That's out of my hands now. Now look at you startled, the brain implant cartridge has not been swapped, which was all part of the plan. A world has been rescued that he did detest, who'd have guessed, I attest, you'd have done just the same. So if you still want to force me to do stupid chores, like washing the dishes to the trash and such, you'll just prove that you haven't paid attention to what I said. The message at its course like, huzzah as a rule. Huzzah, the chorus guy's rule. Oh. 